Regarded as a simultaneous one-to-one -one remaster as well as a reimagination, Die Rise will feature all of the original quests and features from the Black Ops 2 map, but will grant players with the option of enabling reimagined features that would allow them to explore a wide array of new gameplay opportunities. This includes an all-new third main Easter egg quest with a unique story, as well as the ability to use a revamped elevator key system that has redefined its purpose, yielding far more potential for the players. Developed by Zeela and Dobby and backed by Mr. T Lexify, Die Rise truly allows players to enjoy the map exactly how they want to. Survival fans and quest hunters are well catered for here and the map continues to flex features such as perma perks, the weapon fridge and more all encompassed in a replica of the Black Ops 2 skill-based ranking system that remains consistent across matches not only on this map but across various others including Buried as we touched on earlier. This even includes the banking system as well. As shown in my cinematic gameplay here though it's very clear that an insane amount of effort has been put into making this map as visually timeless as possible with an incredibly rich amount of detail being put into the remodeling, the lighting as well as the textures. Whilst there is no set release date as of this moment, the developers of Die Rise have stated that as soon as one is known, it'll be announced in their next official trailer. Now, it's worth mentioning that these developers also wanted me to share that they're not just finishing this project with Die Rise. There's actually more on the horizon. An absolute pleasure to share, yes, whilst development is yet to take full effect, once completing Clinic of Hell and Die Rise, this same team will be taking their talents forward as they take on revitalizing Transit and Blood of the Dead for Black Ops 3 as well. Their version of Transit will act as a one-to-one -one faithful remaster to the original, whereas Blood of the Dead will be executed in similar fashion to how Die Rise is being developed. Now on screen, I can only show footage from Treyarch's original counterparts of of these remasters as like i've said development on these projects have not taken effect as of yet but when talking to these developers it is abundantly clear that they are very excited to get started on these maps though i'm sure with all of this talk of black ops 2 that whilst blood of the dead certainly sounds like a dream for black ops 4 fans i'm sure those of you still in love with its classic predecessor are still wishing for its glorious return right and ladies and gentlemen i just want to interject because this is kajora's video and yes he has showcased some new Die Rise gameplay. I just literally wanted to talk about it and then we're going to go on into the rest of the video. I'm not going to watch the whole video just because I want you guys to check this out. But some of the things that we have officially announced are Die Rise is getting a third Easter egg. That is right. You have the Maxis Easter egg. You have the Richtofen Easter egg. But we are also adding in a plethora of side Easter eggs as long as, as well as a new third main quest line. This will be about the flesh and it has voice acting and everything. So I hope you guys are extremely excited about what we are going to be able to do with that. There's no AI creations at all within this remaster. And I just want to make that out because I know a lot of people are very upset with what AI has been doing. But we do also want to switch up parts of the original Easter egg just for the reimagined. For the remaster, I will say everything will be the one to one. The only step we really want to get rid of is actually in this Buddha room where you have to shoot the ballistic knife. The way we want to actually swap that up is actually make it more exciting. It will involve a ballistic knife. I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but it will be different. So don't bother hitting that mystery box anymore for the ballistic knife for this step. And so uh, that gets me extremely excited. Die Rise is going to be wrapping up development very soon. We are almost ready to play test. I just literally tweeted out in my subscription feed on my Twitter, the new dragons that we're placing at the top. And so it's just so exciting that Kondora has access and we are getting early play testing done for this map, for the Easter egg for everything. So if you're interested in that, make sure to check down below. And like Kondra said, this is not our only announcement. After Die Rise, we will be making transit and we will be doing Blood of the Dead. Now, the reason why we want to do Transit first is because we finished all of the Die Rise weaponry, and so most of the weaponry on Die Rise is from Transit, which is why we want to do Transit, even though another version of Transit is being made by Green Run Productions. We want to make this literally as one-to-one -one as possible, because there's a lot of different variations happening of Transit right now with slight iterations, but our version is going to be one-to-one. -one. However, for Blood of the Dead, 
This is where we're going to be changing some stuff. For Blood of the Dead, we will be making changes to the things that a lot of people don't like. One of the biggest changes is how you need three shield charges for or three shield kills for one soul charge on the shield. And we're changing that to be one to one. You suck one zombie, you get one soul. And that's just the way Blood of the Dead should be played. We're going to be fiddling with some of the Easter egg steps as well, making them out more balanced, more fast paced. Obviously, with the BO3 uh, version as well. And now, let's get into Mob of the Dead as well, because this map is just going to be 1 to 1 BO2 Mob of the Dead, made by Cop for that. So, Kondora, let's hear it. I'm excited. There's also going to be a couple more maps to watch, but I won't watch the rest of the video with you guys. So, well, let's check this out. Oh my gosh. It is looking so good. Sean this is done is an amazing it. job One here. Of the most wow. Requested and most iconic zombies maps of all time is yes. returning properly to Black Ops 3. And this And time... again, I hate to sh throw shade on the original Mob of the Dead remaster project that is on the BO3 workshop. We're not throwing shade. It's just that that version is extremely buggy and glitchy. We're just seeing it for the way it is. And so I respect Sean for being able to remake it for everyone it couldn't without be all the glitches Coming on the other from one. the same developer that brought us yeah. the exceptionally Call the Dead Remaster. Call of the Dead yes, Remaster sir. back at the end of 2022. This yep. project focuses on bringing fans a faithful remaster of Mob that will bring back every feature of the original alongside yes, a dash of Yes, and it looks great. Bonuses. Look so the, at the afterlife effects on the hands. I think that looks so sick. Graphical man. overhaul and an impressive track record. It looks Sean, great. Sean, aka Cop for that, has honed in on once again and capturing the atmosphere, gameplay, and story of the fan favorite experience yes. whilst innovating tastefully wow. where appropriate. Boasting a chaotic and addictive gameplay offering, players will have the choice of experiencing Mob of the Dead as a faithful rework of its Black Ops 2 version or using a mod available at launch as a Chronicles esque addition. Yes. After how well received their Call of Yes, and so Cop for that is also working with Zella and Dobby on like certain aspects of Die Rise, but what's also also crazy is that cop for that is also going to be working with me on a very secret project that we are not going to announce yet but you'll have to see it once it's done because i think a lot of people are going to be blown away by that so cop for that sean definitely another name to keep out there because man he's doing such a great job was, I have look how great this is no doubt that wow. this project will act as the definitive mob of the dead remaster that yeah. fans have been wishing for for, for many years. many years there is no precise release date for this project but Sean goes on to say that the development is going very well. And it so looks it may drop sooner wow. than you might think. Though yes. if that isn't enough, this isn't the only project that this developer is letting me show you guys yes. today, as they're also working on an all-new original project with a very exciting set. Let's, Let's take go, man. There it is. Zombies in Vegas. The early development comes Let's Zombies go. in Vegas, a working title that is massively inspired by Infinite Warfare Zombies maps and takes place on wow. the Las Vegas Strip. Three main areas consist of a hotel. I've always wanted a Vegas Zombies map. I'm not even going to lie with you, man. I've always legitimately wanted a Vegas zombies map and so i'm gonna let you guys check this out the only other two i really want to check out are buried and also the other version of transit and crazy place made by hive so we're gonna Stop. check those out i don't want to check out absolutely everything let's check out buried Jumping here as right well into the slaying is cooked wow slaying bro the long awaited wow. return of buried with an absolutely incredible look how good that looks the update. lighting is Developed perfect by slaying this wow as a love letter to you guys don't understand how hard the custom zombie communities cooking the fans of this is crazy all of the content we are from this cooking. map is brought forward here and is accompanied by tasteful expansions wow. that are made to both the map layout and gameplay features on the topic of gameplay oh though, my gosh can immerse this looks beautiful in a experience that is very much parallel to what we know and love and in terms of easter eggs the traditional main quest will return but will thankfully be completable with any number of players and also we are the reason why i am including this is because dobby and zella will be making a super easter egg mod that will tie in with Virko's transit our version of transit the die rise that we are making and also buried slain's buried so you will be able to do the original bo2 super easter egg on black ops 3 with a mod the mod will come out 
after the maps are released though. So first, you're just going to be able to play the Easter eggs on the respective map, and then the super Easter egg will come afterwards. Not so, only this, but an very all new exciting. main Easter egg will be featured alongside some side quests to boot. Without wow. doubt though, the most triumphant aspect of this project from my eyes is the detail and visual styling of the map. It's, it it's, it's perfect. It's literally perfect. Like, look at that. To that looks better than BO2. The very essence of the original, wow. preserving its tone and dynamics, and all while posting a huge jump forward graphically. Wow. To top it all off though, this project will allow cross progression with features like the weapon lockers ranking and banked point system in a few other black ops 2 tribute projects that we will touch on later in this event yes you are hearing me right this wow. means that things that you earn and store whilst playing this remaster of buried can be tapped into from other maps yes other creators featured in this reveal event yes which means that you will be able to have the same perma perks across transit and die rise and buried the same points in the bank the same gun in the fridge every single part of what you were able to carry over in bo2 you will be able to do without a mod the only reason we need the mod is for the super easter egg so that is going to be extremely extremely exciting and then lastly i genuinely just want to check crazy place and transit the ether version because this is a origins crazy place map made by hives Compact this is so cool origins Taking wow place first in the crazy place in which lies perks, wow the mystery box and perhaps a few secrets hives has been cooking on this for a while and listen my man hives make some bangers it's two he's making some, some bangers fight so their way out insane. into the excavation site where they will find the pack a punch wonder fizz and more the wow. origin staffs make their return in this map and hives the lighting is perfect you killed it dog the means by this which to so get good. them involves a blend of wow new and classic steps but it's all wrapped up in a zombies map that promises an abundance of side quests and extras the, the reason why i'm so happy hives is making this is this is the origins that casuals always wanted a literal simplistic version of original origins this is it dude you now can play it for free resemblance to origins three, here man. Is very impressive Wow! It truly feels like a survival adaptation, much the same way as we saw with the Green Run experiences back in Black Ops 2 from Transit. This truly is, without doubt, a compact yet jam-packed map that fans are gonna love. I'm so excited, Hives. I'm gonna play it. But lastly, I just want to showcase this version of Transit. And I do have to say, this version of Transit is being made by Green Run Productions. We haven't officially affiliated them with the Super Easter Egg mod. Ours is probably just going to be on our own maps. There's no shade at all. It's just that I honestly, I don't even know who's making this map. Like, I just know it's made by Green Run Productions. I'm not totally exactly sure who is behind this, but... It's still exciting. It looks great. It looks really good. Of the and I've played parts of this for you guys already on my main channel with the Saw map and all that. So they have been updating a bunch of different stuff. So Zombies is cooking for 2024. Chronicles 2 happening this year. From Black Ops this is a this crazy project, time, time to be a from Zombies Green fan. Productions wow. Updates the visuals and brings the OG transit to Black Ops 3. Certain tweaks will be made to gameplay to Insane. streamline the experience for players by reworking the PAP system as right. well as the Denizen. So that's why I'm saying like every other version of transit right now isn't one-to-one -one, which is why zella and dobby and i will be making pretty much the one-to-one -one transit you want to play as the kaka version of the zombies map go ahead if you want to play a slightly better one that's like better in terms of systematically then you got green run and if you want to play the version before the events of moon then you play vercos you got all different options now it's perfect man so three different transits this map is still one to one preservation wow. of transit's original vibe and atmosphere is a primary focus here and trailers from this team have generated a phenomenal. lot of hype for this project and yeah. they also intend on dropping a full dark ether variant of the map wow. via support on their patreon and this is coming soon and i'm gonna be honest y'all i'm just gonna say it as it is man treyarch you gotta step your game up dog you gotta step your game up. Look at what the community is up to. And y'all can't even put one foot forward as much as these guys, man. This is absolutely insane. I am so glad that I can even be a part of this. I'm not a developer. I'm only backing Die Rise, but genuinely, this is just so amazing to see as a Zombies fan that literally when Treyarch is focusing on Zombies that isn't even Zombies, the community has always got our back.
Incredible. Totally honest, the Incredible. Dark Aether version of Transit is something that we haven't seen before, but I wow, absolutely agree. look at Visually, that. Visually, it is just simply breathtaking. And combined beautiful. with the addition of a special wonder weapon, as well as the inclusion wow. of some fearsome bosses, gameplay in this... It looks like t Transit, but in, like, BO3, Shadows of Evil, D-Machine. You know, <laughs> like, it's got, like, those same D-Machine, Dark Aether vibes with the BO3 vibes, man. Version of Transit is wow. just gonna be unreal. Lads, I'm excited. Man, zombie maps are cooking. No matter which this version looks... you play, Ooh, though, you'll look be at hit these with a healthy weapons. dose of nostalgia Dang. combined with the present day feel. From upgrading the bus to running trains like the old days to wow. Easter eggs, this remaster of Transit will bring players an experience that we've always wanted. I'm hyped. And I, for one, can a scorpion. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm ending it there. But ladies and gentlemen, go check out the rest of Conjurer's video. I'm not going to watch the rest because I want you guys to check out the actual video because all the maps showcased in here are genuinely some of the greatest zombie maps I have seen in a long, long time. It's been a pleasure, ladies and gentlemen. Check it out. First link in the description, and I'll see y'all in that next one, baby.